A dot a doodle do, and we're back with another episode of Dot Daily, where we talk about everything in the Polkadot ecosystem. Today we get into Cross Network, so let's jump right in. What is Cross Network? Cross Network is a decentralized storage protocol that provides an incentive layer for IPFS storage network nodes. For those of you who don't know what IPFS is, it stands for the Interplanetary File System, which is a protocol and peer to peer network for storing and sharing data in a distributed file system. Through this overview video, you will understand the functional responsibilities of Crust and how users are stored in the Crust network after placing an order. Crust network is a decentralized cloud protocol developed with a Polkadot substrate framework, providing an incentive layer for IPFS storage nodes. IPFS nodes are spread all over the world. Crust uses TEE hardware technology to solve the problem of node workload reporting, then provides incentives for the node according to the workload of the node. Crust provides a Web 3.0 decentralized storage network for the metaverse. It is designed to realize core values of decentralization, privacy, and assurance. Crust supports multiple storage layer protocols such as IPFS and exposes instant accessible on-chain storage functions to users. Crust's technical stack is also capable of supporting data manipulating and computing. How Crust works Crust operates in three layers that are MPOW, meaning full proof of work, the low trust, zero trust storage proof layer to inspect and prove storage work of miners, GPOS, guaranteed proof of stake, the POS derived consensus layer that requires nodes to provide storage proof to get staking quota, DSM, decentralized storage market, it enables users to place storage orders on the chain to get their data stored and distributed across network. Uses of Crust Crust can be used in a wide range of scenarios, including serverless dApp or website hosting. Developers can deploy their own dApps or websites based on the Crust or IPFS network. With this, developers are able to only focus on building dApps or websites, no need for server management. Moreover, Crust network incentivizes multiple nodes to store dApp or website files and provide stored services, thus ensuring the high availability of dApps or websites. General off-chain data storage. Some blockchain-based decentralized applications, such as NFD and decentralized social platforms, involve a large amount of user data, far beyond the on-chain storage capacity. Based on Crust or IPFS network, developers can provide general off-chain data storage services for these applications. Accelerated content delivery. Developers are able to build P2P content delivery network or CDN services with Crust or IPFS network. Crust network incentivizes the nodes to spontaneously distribute CDN data and play the role of CDN edge nodes to accelerate the data transmission for CDN users. Secure cloud storage. Developers are able to build cloud storage applications with Crust or IPFS network. Without maintaining storage clusters, developers only need to integrate the SDK of Crust or IPFS into applications to provide users with stable storage services. Crust economics. The main native token behind Crush Network is the CRU tokens, which can be generated primarily in two ways. One is one-time generation when the main network starts, the other is with the generation of blocks. Initially, 20 million tokens were generated. The blockchain consensus in the Crust Network is GPOS, which is called Guaranteed Proof of Stake. The network will calculate a staking limit based on the storage space of a node. Nodes can choose to buy CRU by themselves, or they can choose to accept guarantees from other CRU holders. This role is called Guarantor. Therefore, as long as you hold CRU, you can join the mining network to earn income even if you don't have a mining machine or hard disk. Token Distribution Token Sale at 25%, BD and Marketing at 10%, Community Development 25%, Foundation Reservation 20%, Technical Team 20%. Token Utility In the Crust Network, the CRU token mainly has the following functions. Number 1. Staking to maintain the GPOS consensus of the Crust Network. Number 2. Used to guarantee the selected nodes. Number 3. Serving as contract guarantee and commission for providing resource services. Number 4. Serving as a transaction fee for using the network. Number 5. Used to purchase resource services. Number 6. Used for election and voting of on chain governance mechanism and vote on proposals. In Crust Network, besides the main CRU token, there are tokens such as CSM, CRU18, and Candy that can be used for different tasks in marketing promotion. These tokens will be distributed to the community users and related entities entirely in the form of placement. Candy In most of Crust's community distribution activities, Candy is used as the reward for distribution. The conversion ratio between Candy and CRU is 1000 to 1, which will be open to exchange after the mainnet is launched. Aside from being used as a reward, Candy will also be used for community activities, such as voting and other aspects. CSM Crust Storage Market then comes the CSM, which is the storage market token with a total supply of 200 million. CSM will be freely distributed to the community through different tasks. No less than 100 million CSM will be distributed before the mainnet launch. The remaining CSM will be distributed via storage market promotions. CSM can be mainly used for following actions. Number 1. 
used to participate in storage market related activities. Number two, users can use it to obtain discounts related to storage market rates. Number three, markets can use it to obtain discounts related to storage market rates. Number four, used to exchange CRU in market revenue pool. CRU 18. Lastly, we have the CRU 18, which represents CRU that is unlocked over a period of 18 months. CRU 18 was issued to private equity investment institutions and those who participated in the early profit art testnet. CRU 18 cannot be transferred or traded and will begin to linearly unlock over 18 months after the launch of the mainnet. Well guys, that brings us to the end of our video. I hope you guys were able to get a better understanding of the Crust Network. Thanks for tuning in to Dot Daily. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, a doodle do to ya!